Now this is a statue of Adam Smith, a name recognized throughout the first world nations, if not the others, principally for his accomplishments in economics. These are the city council chambers that were built and before this point in time, which was 1903, I think, the chamber met in the toll booth building, that little building over there. All the guidebooks suggest that you walk randomly down some of these closes, and so I've chosen this one, and it is kind of dicey. Um, there are handrails along because of the moss-covered uh, stones here, and even the slimy steps up a little bit further. The wind, when it's howling down through here, is a regular tornado uh, blowing you almost off your feet. You can imagine how eerie and seamy this seems at night. Not so much now, but a couple of hundred years ago. Here where it's covered over, giving it the term close. Now imagine this. The people up above hollering something like Garde the Dole or something like that, which means uh, beware the water coming, which was not water, of course. And if you thought it was going to hit you, if you couldn't identify where it was, you'd yell up something to say, hold your hand uh, until you got out of the way. But this would have been just filled with excrement. If you sloshed it into your house, you walked through it. <laughs> not at all. The, quote unquote quaintness that you're experiencing through this camera. Now imagine that going up maybe three, two or three times higher. And it was interesting because this morning before I began my walk, I was reading a tale of two cities where Dickens exactly describes the conditions of these tenement houses and the squares outside them. This former church, abandoned in the 1980s, I always am curious why religious institutions and the monumental churches uh, go into disuse, including mosques and temples that I've seen in various parts of the world. The very institutions that palaver on endlessly about eternity and why they are the great bastions of access to that eternity have such definite lives, finite. I love these wood balconies, even if these are modern-day allusions to the past. Interesting building, character. So that's the castle, the collection of buildings, which I'm told by someone who I think is knowledgeable and truthful, that they're mainly filled with military history of the Scots, which I don't really care about so I won't bother to wander through this castle, particularly at the high price. 
as she says, of 15 pounds. It's interesting, we're looking at the back of that sh abandoned church, if you will, now turned into an uh, event center. But behind me is the Scottish Episcopal Church, St. Columbia's by the Castle. Notice it's square, blocky, relatively unadorned, fort-like design, which seems to be what I was reading about the Presbyterian who do not embellish either inside or outside and also do not believe in the main that there needs to be an intermediary between the people and their God. And for those who like to add an element of class to justify their addictions and vices. Now whether this is actually a church or just a uh, Christian heritage center, I don't know. Presumably it once was a church. Notice here again, uh, we've seen how corners of buildings are shaved off. Just a little bit of novel design up here for whatever the reason. Interesting. Well, I know I've walked down this street before, so I'll go see where it was that I was going. <laughs> this is Victoria Street, built in the 1830s to make access to the Royal Way from down below much easier. Before, there was a Z path that apparently uh, came from somewhere to the right, the cattle market, and the top part of it was right above that purple building. Having just come down from Victoria Street up there, I'm now entering the Grass Market Street and probably Square area. I'll just pan around for the fun of it. I think we'll be walking up there to our left. But this has some very interesting history behind it. This X is a monument to the martyrs, in other words, the people who died here um, for their religious beliefs. Uh, I think in the 17th century, when witches were uh, slaughtered for a hundred different reasons, written by the king himself, including a third nipple. And these narrow stones here, if we were up above and could look down, uh, depict a gallows, because it was here that the gallows were erected, built by Deacon Brody, who ultimately died on, them, on it himself.